Zikona Chona, you've actually given me uh, a way into my discussion with uh, Theo Molele, who speaks for uh, the NTA. He joins us now via Skype or uh, Zoom, I understand. Thanks for now, Zikona Chona. Mr. Malele, uh, hopefully you were listening in on that conversation uh, with my colleague Zikona Chona. Firstly, the issue is that of uh, adherence to the lockdown regulations in terms of social distancing, the wearing of masks. Have you communicated this to your members who are striking today? Uh, oh yes, good morning and thanks and, and, and for having me. I was just about to go and uh, uh, advise the guy who's uh, controlling uh, the communications uh, about uh, uh, this non-compliance uh, aspect, uh, you know, as, as the corner had pointed out. Uh, yes, we, we, we are going to do something about it. Uh, it's just a pity that now I, I'm on air and I cannot, uh, like, be doing two things at the same time. But uh, it, it, it is understood that uh, social distancing will have to be adhered to at all given times. And we have sanitizers here. Uh, we will be, uh, you know, as, as, as they march, they'll be marching in lines of uh, 20 and uh, in groups uh, spread clearly of uh, 60. 60 per line, so it will be three lines, and there'll be a, a tape, uh, you know, separating them, and there'll be uh, marshals on, on either side, and the sanitization, the sanitization will happen uh, at intervals. Yeah, at Mr. Manila, intervals. Yeah. you know, as I speak to you, we are showing viewers uh, the live pictures from the starting point of uh, the march, and uh, you can see uh, quite a number of people not wearing masks, and social distancing that you speak about uh, really not being adhered to. The important thing here, and I know that uh, we are going to touch on why it is that you are marching in the first place, but these are people who transport the general public who ought to be the ones leading by example. Right now, you're failing this society. No, look, uh, I, I, I'm not disputing that. I'm not disputing that. Uh, I, I, I acknowledge that there is no social distancing and uh, as, as I'm talking to you now, I am going to convey this message that uh, people must put on their masks and the social distancing and uh, be acknowledged. Uh, All right. so, so, so we will address this issue as, as we speak. I know the corner is here with us. Yeah. And uh, yes, I acknowledge that uh, not everyone has a mask on, but they will have uh, to put on their mask. I'm actually going to communicate that with the leadership as we speak right now. Let me tell you, Mr. Malele, about uh, the, the other element that is likely to take away sympathy uh, for what it is that you are striking for, which is absolutely valid, but intimidation. Our reporter, Zikona Chona, the one that you keep referring to, she had her phone taken away when she was uh, taking pictures of the uh, members gathering there. For what reason? It's not been explained. That phone was taken away from her by one of your members and then uh, returned to her. Then there is the bus driver, the woman bus driver who was hijacked for no apparent reason. We understand by okay, can members... We, can, we, can, we, can we deal with these issues uh, one by one? Sure. I would like the corner to point out uh, this person that has done this. Then we'll deal with this person accordingly. Mm. And uh, secondly, you know, uh, incidences of uh, intimidation of uh, a bus being hijacked. There has also been incidences where a motorist also stoned uh, one of the, 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 the minibus taxis and the uh, taxi operators went and attacked, tried to attack that person who absconded. Uh, yes, we, we, we've heard about these uh, incidences and uh, we strongly abhor these uh, uh, incidences of uh, Barbarism. We do not attest to that at all. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for at least uh, condemning that behavior. Hopefully, action will follow. Let's talk about who you blame for this 1.3 billion uh, set aside for relief, in particular of taxi operators. What has been the explanation from the Department of Transport as to why that money has not been dispersed? Well, the explanation uh, from the office of the minister has, been, has not been clear. At first, the minister had said that uh, the office of, the, of our general secretary and that of his DG and that of uh, the office of the secretary general of Santaco would actually work on the modalities on how this money would be released. But then what then uh, came up was that the minister was expecting taxi operators to register as companies uh, before this money could be dispersed. 
and uh, you know we said to him uh, that was not practically uh, possible uh, because that would take a, a, a much longer time. Mm. And the reason for us having said that is this one: the most taxes are been uh, are still been owed, and there are monthly obligations uh, with the financial institutions. So therefore, you will have to amend the National Credit Act to allow for that uh, migration. And secondly, you would also have to uh, amend the National Land Transport Act yeah. to, to give uh, proviso uh, for, for, for this uh, to can happen. Yeah. And uh, having to amend these two pieces of legislation will take no less than uh, uh, two years. But instead, the minister was insisting that he wants to see this professionalization of the tech industry by April next year. And we said it was uh, not possible. The timing was rather wrong. And uh, how he also approached this uh, uh, aspect was, was not correct. Why then, Mr. Malele, uh, there, there does seem to be uh, this fight for recognition, if you will. I think that's the best way I can describe it. A fight for recognition between NTA, which is the organization that you speak for, and Santaco, which is a body a national body recognized by government. Is there a problem with doing things through Santaco? No, 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 we cannot. We are also a national body, uh, fully uh, constitutional, uh, constitutionally so. Uh, we have members from throughout the country. Uh, we, we, we have a clear mandate. We, we, we go through democratization every five years of being elected into office. Uh, we are an independent uh, body and we would want to be recognized uh, as such. And uh, why should the minister try and foster unity when he can hardly foster unity within the very party that uh, he represents? Uh, a lot of uh, political parties uh, fell out of uh, the ANC as a result of conflict and not being able to can manage uh, relations within his own organization. Organizations came out of uh, COSATU. So uh, uh, there's been a lot of breakaways. If he cannot manage uh, unity within the ANC, how can he foster unity in our business when we are a fully... Uh, a co All right, uh, Theo Malele, uh, breaking away there just as uh, we were ending our discussion. He speaks for uh, the National Taxi Alliance. That's the organization uh, who... Uh, the organizations, or should, we, should I say the associations that belong under that fold of uh, the NTA, those are the people who are on the ground today striking for the 1.3 billion rand COVID relief fund.